iGenity is a proud sponsor of I Am Angus. For more information, visit iGenity.com. I can remember I had a, a, a government and American history a teacher back in the seventh grade. And one of the assignments that we had was to read the Constitution and study the Constitution and all, and it really stuck with me. And I remember reading that, and, and they, uh, they all said and agreed upon that we must take care of our farmers. We must keep a strong agriculture, a competitive agriculture, because we must remember any country will run out of uh, food before they run out of people. And I've never forgotten that. I think Pat is one of those rare natural leaders. He's always had a desire to be a pioneer. He's a person that was, has always been in control, uh, always knew what he wanted. Uh, there was never any question in anybody's mind about who, who ran the place and, and yet he was always been fair. He was always thinking big and he always has and I think that's one thing is he's instilled into all of us. And if he believed in something, he went for it. And even if he was the only one in a room that believed in it, he never would back down. He'd, he'd always voice his opinion. And I've seen many of meetings where he would persuade everybody that were kind of against it to come back over to his side. He always said that, you know, if you help me build my business, you'll thrive as well. He's worked all his life and everything. It just, uh, he's never sat down and did nothing. He's the kind of man that, that commands in a gentle way that your attention and, and that's kind of how he raised us. I mean he's really always uh, got the, uh, the uh, producer in mind, uh, making sure that they've got uh, fair, fair uh, and competitive ways of selling their cattle. I've, I've been a great believer in competition. If, if, if that's what a market is, and whether it's in this ring or whether it's, uh, it's uh, in the country, competition. Don't be afraid, I say to our people, don't be afraid of competition. Because if you're entering a business that is, doesn't have very much competition, I can promise you it's not a very good business and you won't do well there. I, I think uh, when you, you think back in the days of the dairy buyout when I was in high school, uh, I don't know a guy in the United States that fought harder to uh, try to bring some competitiveness back to our cow market. Um, uh, I know at one time I talked to a guy that uh, before that uh, not many people in D.C. knew him, but after that everybody knew him. He bought this stockyards in, in the mid-1960s when it was floundering and, and uh, uh, he'd never been in the livestock auction business. and in, uh, very short period, he made it to number one market in Montana. And he's not afraid to try new things. Um, he always seems to do it in a big way, whatever he does. Whether it be the ring scale, that he was the first ring scale to be put in, or whether it be the very first video in 1976, uh, the electricity and the people and the crowds uh, that surrounded that the first couple years was just amazing. We were at the National Western Stock Show, and he was honored by the uh, record stockman as man of the year. And it was, uh, it was supposed to be a little brief two, three minute presentation at, during the rodeo at the National Western and uh, the rodeo announcer announced him and he was, dad was supposed to just say a, a, a few brief words and all of a sudden he takes his hat off and he starts belting out God bless America. And the whole place, it was, it was a packed arena. They didn't know what to do for the first 10 seconds or so. And uh, all of a sudden they just stood up and started singing with him. So it, uh, he was standing in front of five, 6,000 people and just belted it out. He's a great American. What do I consider being my life's biggest concern? Would be my family and the ability to have held them together. Him as a dad, he's, um, he has on his business hat and he has on his dad hat. And his dad hat, oh, uh, I get choked up. Um, <clears throat> he's a, um, when he was home, it, it was different than what you, when you see him out in public. He's, he's a gentler man. Uh, his sense of humor is off the scale. 
his love of music, his love of singing, and that came down through all of us. Um, just a good old Irish boy that likes to, loves life. He, he really has a, a, a passion for, for the, the business he's in. He cares about the people and the industry he's in. I would hope that um, in the future, if somebody would see Patrick's portrait and uh, study what he's done, that they would realize um, that they could accomplish anything if they put their mind to it. That's one thing that Dad will get very emotional about is, is his patriotism to the country and our freedom and that we do not take it for granted and should not take it for granted and we all need to work towards our freedom and not let the government flat take us over and he is an adamant about that. He, he works very hard against them. Uh, Pat started from scratch and he built this wonderful family, wonderful business and uh, I think it's just proof that there's tremendous opportunity here in this country and, uh, and not f just for a privileged few, but for, for anybody if they decide to put their mind to it. And he's living proof of that today um, through uh, hard work and dedication to family and God. And, um, he has built a tremendous business, but more importantly, as good a family as you could ever be around.